are about to walk into an on-ramps pre-calculus course. And this is considered a dual enrollment course. So nice. students in this course are not only earning high school credit for pre-calculus, but also have the opportunity to earn credit from UT for this math course. L of X is an accumulated area. So with UT on-ramps, they have the teacher that is in the building with us, in addition to they have a college professor. So it's two different grades. They're gonna get the grade that goes onto our transcript at Rouse, as well as a grade from UT. They have the option of declining the UT grade. They can't decline our grade at Rouse for the high school credit, but for the UT, so say they make a B and they don't want that be to transfer to their college transcript, they can say, no, I enjoyed the class, I just don't want the credit. Or they can take it, whatever credit they earn from UT will go onto their college transcript. I'm Ralph. Great. <laughs> All right. All right, can I get you guys to explain? Somebody raise their hand and tell me some of the experiments that you guys used to test. What, so what types of objects did you test? Me and Jenica jumped off the counter and we obviously have different masses. <laughs> so we fell and landed at the same time. There we go. Two different mass students <laughs> fell at the same rate. Now if we did that, one on the moon and one on earth, we'd definitely see them fall at different rates. So I guess first I'll talk about what we've been doing this yeah. year because um, like Mac and I have been doing a bunch of like serious topics like you know you covered the school board meeting, I've covered like 9-11 and mental health awareness a week. It can weigh down on us sometimes but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know we, sometimes we feel like you know we're, we're the people that, that need to push this out like yes. almost like it's a duty or responsibility. So we went to the Austin Film Festival, it was really fun. We met a bunch of directors and agents and like other people who are kind of like in the same boat as yeah. us. What an experience yeah. though. Cool. Yeah, it was really fun and inspiring and I think that this is definitely something I want to be more involved in and you know like Jeremiah said I do really feel like it's a duty to like put my voice out there especially like at, during a time like this. Which experiment did you choose? We did number two. Okay. The students are working on chemical and physical changes in lab today and it's up to them to determine which one's physical, which one's chemical. And so right here what you see is 20 different experiments that they have to pull from, and then they have to decide, oh, this is a chemical change based off of what happened, and this one's a physical change based off of what happened. So it's really a student-led investigation, which is great for their learning experience. Right now we're doing experiment number three, right? Yes. So and this is CuSO4, also known as copper sulfate, and we filled it into this beaker about a third of the way. I want to see fire. Oh, yes! I'm Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah. Do you know the song? Um, Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs>